Good morning folks. Sunday morning. It's June the 25th I believe. Ah, can you believe it? Soon be Christmas. May I be the first to wish you a very Merry Christmas this year. I don't know. It's only six months to go. I don't know why I went down this route. Um, it's interesting because I do remember Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, the fireworks, and uh, this was before we had a shelter even. Not not a tent, but not even a shelter. Small tarpaulin, a plastic sheet over the bed, over over a not even a proper mattress at this point, just a, a sunbed mattress on the floor. Um, yeah, strange, funny how time flies. I don't know, let me uh, turn the camera around. Has that worked? I can't see the screen. Hopefully you're looking out at a boat, but I've got no idea. If it turns out that you're looking at me still, then I won't use this clip. This really isn't great. I should be able to. Yeah, I think I'm looking. At, I think I can just about make out the horizon on the on the screen. Again, another boat there. Look, I don't know. I've got no idea whether the camera's pointing in the right direction. For some reason, if I point the the entire phone, if I put it flat, pointing at something, then the camera misses. It doesn't go in a straight line. Um, hey, what can you do? What is I'm saying? It's uh, there's her ladyship. Another beautiful day in Spain, which I guess we'll be able to say probably for the next four or five months pretty much uninterrupted or at least in a typical year that's what you'd be able to say I'm seeing strange weather forecasts and weather predictions that, uh, that include lots of rain for summer after we've had a, a big drought through winter and spring so who knows but today is nice so we're going to enjoy it. Um, again, no real plans. At some point I need to wash some clothes. I don't know whether I'm going to do that today or maybe tomorrow. And I've got half an idea to have a walk into La Mata one day soon. Um, probably not today though. I've left it too late now, I think. It's... Uh, I think it's about half past ten. Um, if I was going to do a walk to the matter this time of year, let's see if we can track this seagull. If I was going to do a walk into the matter this time of year, I would have probably left already. Be there while it's well before it gets stupid hot and get back. Probably just as it gets stupid hot. This car. I'm not sure it's I'm not sure there's any activity here. <laughs> I am not sure how many days I've been seeing this now, but th this car's been here maybe a week or more. I don't know. I don't you would have thought that I would bump into people around here, even if they like I assume they're not in the car all this time. But you'd think that they'd they'd be here camped around it and eating nearby and, and sitting around on an evening. I'm not bumping into anybody. So I don't know. It'd be strange. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the day. I've got one main task to do for the day and that's to film my weekly roundup, my my summary of the week and maybe pointing at highlights of uh, a 
with some of the videos that I made this week and I've got an idea for I don't know whether it's a separate standalone video or whether it's a a section to be incorporated in that video in future just maybe chatting about some of the uh, some of the YouTube channels I follow and some of the podcasts that I that I listen to for uh, for a bit of entertainment now that I'm back in the real world after four or five months with no with no technology at all I had nothing I, I, finding something to read was a struggle these free newspapers and um, I'd find an occasional book and that was it I was out of touch with the world no technology no access to to anything um, no, I didn't have a radio I didn't have obviously didn't have a phone all my tablets and uh, my Kindle book readers broken So when the when the ladies bought me this phone and put me back in touch with the world, when I got a radio, um, I made a huge, huge difference. And now I've got a few extra euros in my pocket, enough to be able to afford enough to be able to afford a data package. To, uh, to at least try this YouTube thing it made a huge difference um, so I thought I would at some point share I mean I know every now and again I drop into the conversation um, details of some of the YouTube channels and podcasts but I thought I would do a separate like I say either a separate video or a separate section just um, just detailing that listing them linking out to them maybe give them a shout out not that they need not that they need a boost from my uh, small audience but you know you never know so yeah that's my, that's my task for today I did a bit of preparatory work last night going back over the videos and uh, making a few notes the big story of the week is the bread apocalypse, though, isn't it? The uh... yeah. Speaking of which, I'm going to go back to camp now and uh, eat some bread, possibly toasted, maybe. So, okay, guys, I'm going to shut up for now. That's me. It's uh, Sunday morning. Nice day. Hope you have a good one. Catch you later. Hello again, folks. Here we are again in the park. Um, I'm guessing this is going to be a regular feature on these hot days. I've got two or three parks to pick from. But this one's the closest to home. And of course it used to be home, just over there. Between those two trees. Or oh, the, bush, the bush and the tree. Um... Yeah, we're here, we're set up, just got set up. I've even managed to put the uh, picnic blanket the right way up today, just for a change. I don't know what I was thinking yesterday. Too many times of using this blanket over the top of the bed for waterproofing. <laughs> um, hey, it is what it is. Solar panels set out. I'm gonna charge the phone first and then the um, power bank. Um, but it's a lovely sunny day again. It's a really nice spot we're in. As you probably know, it's our favourite spot. Um, but we're here for the for the afternoon or, or for the day. I mean, it's only eleven o'clock, and we're uh, we're here already. Let's see what the day brings. I've got a book to read. I've got podcasts and YouTube videos to listen to. Um, kick back. Plenty of uh, liquid refreshments. Water, coffee, cola. Um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, see what the day brings. 
hopefully it's just a nice relax in the sun. Bye for now. Good evening folks. Very quiet afternoon at the park. Um, just listened to a few podcasts. I don't think I even read the book. I don't think I even tried. I got it out, ready, but I didn't. Um, the only thing of note that happened all afternoon really was uh, Tina started a fight with another dog. And in pulling to get away from me, she snapped her lead, which already been snapped previously. I mean, it, I just tie a knot in it. But it snapped right where the other knot was. But it, it wasn't that the knot had come undone. It literally, it, it snapped again right next to it. It's like, it, it's made out of this webbing stuff. And it's, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe it's perishing. I've had it a few years now. Yeah, don't know. Um, but there's still quite a lot of there's quite a lot of it still wound up in, uh, that can be unwound and, and extended out. So it shouldn't be a problem as long as the join holds where uh, where I keep tying the knots. Yeah, but that's all that happened. One little argument between two dogs. It's over in seconds. Um. I don't know, I only just got back to camp, I need to set up the uh, set up the solar panel, try and get a bit of extra get a bit of extra power in the last hour or two of of usable sunlight. Or maybe the next hour of, of usable. Uh, and then think about food. Try not to think about bread. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. That's that's all that's happened so far today. Um, I'll update later if there's anything to report. Bye for now.